Cancer, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is, yes, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Um, check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign always, guys, because it's energy that's impacting you, so you might as well get some insights. For those of you that want deep insights, I hope that you'll be able to join me for the extended message. The link to that is always just below in the description box. If you really love this video, please show your love by liking it and sharing it to your social media platforms, getting the word out about Born Without Boundaries Tarot. As well, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell, selecting all notifications so you know when I upload your favorite content. Cancer, your content-specific cancer readings come out um, every single Friday. Um, yeah, so uh, it usually happens between like 8 and 9 a.m. over on the west coast of the U.S. East coast, that translates to about 1 p.m. And then over in Western Europe, I think that's around 6 p.m. But I hope everybody around the globe can see it and they can see it in the right time for them. If you're looking for more content, I have that for you. I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, and I'll attach the link above. And if you want to join me live and chat live then come on over to Instagram. You can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries. And then I do a daily tarot card reading. So you can join me daily. You ready? Remember, I will be breaking this down to you. I'm sorry if that was really loud. To me, it sounded really loud. So I just can imagine what it sounds like to you guys. I'm going to be breaking this down into career, money, and love. Let's get a general reading. I think that you feel... That you have been completely and totally abandoned by somebody. But I can tell you right now, this person is coming back into your life. And that's my first reading of it. Let me go, let me go through the cards with you. You have the Eight of Swords, right? Abandonment. Feeling like you were blind. But remember, the Eight of Swords, Cancerians, is in your brain. So something in your brain made you feel like somebody dissed the shit out of you, somebody left you. Maybe it wasn't as, as bad as you thought it was, right? Or you were thinking of ghosting somebody. Something like that. There's some sort of like, like somebody getting dumped, right? And then we have the Knight of Chalices, which is somebody coming back into your life. And it made up maybe a different somebody. But this is still love coming back, a sense and that could just be your love coming back. Love starting to like generate coming back inside of you because you're the cups, right? You're not the swords. Um, or this could all be you. And it's just a feeling of rejection. And now all of a sudden there's little glimmers of hope. And where do we end in terms of this first shuffle? The Three of Cups, which is celebration, being around people that you love, maybe getting back with your friends, um, coming back together with people that you care about, people that you care about coming around you, being more social again, activity, life coming back into your life. Uh, Three of Cups is usually celebration. Of course, it could be a third party situation. It could be that you thought that somebody dumped you and then somebody else comes in your life and then both of them come back. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to say, it's better to have more than to have less, okay? So I'd, I'd rather you be on the side of having more people than you thought you were interested in than not. But the way this came out for me, it was somebody that you really liked. That you, or That's an assumption on my part. I'm assuming that you would have felt like, like, like that you really liked somebody because the Eight of Swords implies that you felt a great deal of pain and abandonment. So there was something here that you felt you were left out of, maybe just left out of life in general, but the Knight of Chalices and the Three of Chalices is saying, no, life is coming back. A feelings are coming back. You know, romance is coming back because the Knight of Chalices is the most romantic knight. I mean, he's the motherfucker who comes to your doorstep, Cyrano de Bergerac style, all kinds of like tap, tap, tap on the window with the poetry, motherfucking, mother motherfucking uh, say anything with the goddamn boom box in your eyes you know like like that's the kind of night of that's that's the night of <laughs> that's the night of cups kind of energy you know so this is this this means that 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 this kind of energy is coming back into your life and that's good as long as it's as long as it's something that you want 
you know, like uh, as long as it's something that you, um, that's not distracting for you or, yeah, I don't feel like you're running away. To me, I'm, like I'm the reader here. This was, this, I'm mean, just saying like, you know, the guys that I know that I'm Cancerian. And so sometimes I get a little wrapped up in Cancerian energy, but as the reader, seeing this objectively, this looks like somebody that you thought abandoned you did not abandon you. They're coming back in your life and you're going to have a reason to celebrate. But this is a general reading and I like to give you guys as many interpretations as I can. Happy days are here again. You guys really want to enjoy yourselves? Go Google Happy Days Are Here Again, Barbara Streisand, Judy Garland. You ain't never heard talent until you heard real talent. And those bitches blow it out of the water. Happy days are here again. Shining. Shining. Abundance. Abundance. So this also is sort of a breakthrough. In, this is also like divine feminine energy. Getting ready to receive. Okay, we have the Knave of Swords here. It's almost like somebody reached out to somebody for a very lukewarm response. But then we have the Devil here. There was a lot of fear. There was a lot of fear because... Maybe there was a lot of fear because... Hold on. Hold on. Competition. Fear of competition. Fear of not being good enough because when you reached out, there was a lukewarm response. You were feeling all good. You were feeling all abundant. Knave of Swords is here. So this is like the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is here. So this was internet activity, communication, um, little, little DMs, emails, stuff like that. But then all of a sudden it kind of like fell short and things got boring or things got stagnated. Um, it could even be stuff on the internet like money was slowing down. This is Capricorn energy. This is the devil. This is sort of obsessed with things that, or obsessed with things, or controlled by fear, or bad habits. Bad habits themselves could have been making you stuck in some ways. And ultimately, five of wands. Then there was competition. Competition of what? Could have been competition with somebody's bad habits. Um, um, like, uh, yeah. There was, un let me say this, there was uncertainty here. There was insecurity here because of somebody's bad habits, because of maybe sexual desires or different sexual partners, or, I mean, you could have drugs and alcohol in this mix too with the devil. The devil is definitely just being controlled by fear. Whatever that extreme is where it's just controlled by fear um, and that it's, it's making you believe something that isn't as bad as it is or something is worse than it is, or... You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. That could be a direct indicator of the person that you're dealing with. So, and it could have been in a situation where, like, like there were like little, like little DMs and stuff. Nothing ever really... The Four of Pentacles is stuck energy. Somebody was stuck here. Maybe they were stuck because of finances. Finances they weren't doing so good. Or they were interested in other people. Or they didn't feel like they could compete. Maybe somebody saw you as very abundant. Or you saw them as very abundant. And the truth behind the curtain was. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Kind of Wizard of Oz style. Where it's like uh, somebody was just pretending to be. There was some, some sort of smoke in mirrors. Right? There was some smoke in mirrors. But ultimately, there's, there could be a sense of now seeing each other for who you really are. Hmm. Ooh. Ah! God, I can't wait. I can't. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. It's all about timing. The high priestess is here. It's all about timing. The king of swords is here. Somebody's made a logical objective. Like, objectivity is very smart right now. Making a smart decision, making smart decisions, making smart decisions, making like making decisions that don't that are not driven by reaction. You're not being reactive. Be objective. Or there's counseling here. There's actual counseling, actually conferring to some sort of counselor to help you be more objective and reconnect you to your inner source and to balance because the high priestess is balanced through spirituality through trusting an objective source maybe somebody that can see things that 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 you can't see right um the king of swords is usually a counselor of some sort somebody who's very wise he tells the truth he's honest he's straight to the point um 
may come in a she form too. Forget about pronouns. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the mentality of the king of swords is very much wisdom. Very much wisdom. And then all of a sudden, this is a great card to have. Because that means where you were once defeated, you're not going to be defeated. It's almost like in some ways you've, you've solved the karma by solving the fear. By looking at and confronting the fear. I'm never going to be good enough. There's always competition. Or maybe I can't control myself. Um, I'm being tempted away, tempted to do things that I know are bad for me or bad for us. Ultimately, there's just this sense of taking hold, taking control over who you are and saying, I am who I decide. You're a cardinal sign. So you are who you decide. And in this situation, it seems that what you've decided, you've been able to overcome. I can't wait to get into the romance specific reading, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Tell me more, tell me more. Surrender to the divine. This is a beautiful energy. Sometime in the past, there was just a sense of, I can't, I really can't handle it anymore. Don't let pride get in your way. You let pride, pride get in the way. And it made, it could have interfered with your relationship with the divine itself, with your ability to connect, right? And disconnection, that's the eight of swords, is what caused these problems, maybe these addictions, these needs to uh, fling yourself into bad behaviors because you needed to feel something, because something really disappointed you. I'm telling you right now, that's how cancer, cancerians act when something really disappoints them. And when there's nobody else around, you start to take it out on yourself, and ultimately, this is you wrangling that back in and being like, this is not what I want my life to look at, look like, and this is not what I want to look like, and this is not what I want to be. And so ultimately, I'm going to make different choices. I was wondering if this was on. Have faith in your dreams comes out in the future, which, which is what I'm saying. is like, what do you want to be? The power in your choices now cannot be understated. <clears throat> also a sense of, guess what? You've turned this around. The situation is turning around. And it will directly be directly impacted with, like, your decision-making process. <sighs> Rejoice in celebration. But it's coming up in the past. But let's, let's stick with this. Something was good in the past. Something was happy in the past. Rejoice in celebration. Oh, I understand. It's like you're you're starting to see the good in something that happened in the past that before had made you feel like crap. But it's almost like you're repairing that so that you don't see the gaps and the breaks in these current situations. So by repairing the view of the past, you're actually repairing your actual lenses of your eyes. So that you can see things clearly instead of continually cracked. I hope you followed that metaphor because it was very powerful. So here you are right now. Don't give up on your connection to the universe. The universe says take your stand and the universe is you. So ultimately it is now time to determine what it is you want. Stand your ground and don't let anybody tell you anything but what you already know. And I see 21 and 7, and 21 is an increment of 7. 21 is 7 times 3. So this could be in up to uh, four weeks. This could have happened over the past four weeks. Um, this, is, this, is, this is a significant breakthrough. Um, disconnect in boredom, triumph, and success. So you've triumphed over this sense of being disconnected. That's a major breakthrough because it means that you're very, very powerful. And there's communications coming in, maybe from somebody who literally was disconnected from you. That you haven't heard from in a while. But this wouldn't be like the return of the ex. This would be the return of somebody that you really need to talk to in order to really become the person that you want to be. And you can hear the sirens coming. You can hear the sirens calling. All that glitters is not gold. It's almost like you need to you need to reconnect with this person or they need to reconnect with you to see that 
everything isn't like it's I apologize I can't pause this so hold on but these are these are signs these sirens are signs that that really listen to this happy happy oh my god between worlds to the sea 1515 divine counterparts chop wood and soulmates you put a lot of energy and effort into creating this possibility for change and you went really really deep that's to the sea that's you you went really deep into your emotions and you did a lot of work on them to connect the two sides of yourself also to connect to your soulmate i'll tell you right now you're ready to connect to your soulmate all that glitters is not gold is a sign of you don't really need things to be glamorous anymore once you've thrown away that broken fractured way of thinking and faced your fears of not being good enough you don't need to feel all kinds of dolled up all kinds of dressed up or like you're, you're the best at something in order to deserve to be loved. Or that somebody has to be the best at something in order to deserve to be loved. That's not what this is. This is almost like masks coming off. Loving somebody. Happy birthday, Doug Denny. For who they are. Okay. Holy shit. Let's get into specifically career. 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 Um, there's a new, uh, it's almost like there's a new interest or there's a new passion because we have the Knight of Wands in terms of career. I want to start with career to see like career. Um, there's a new passion maybe because people weren't noticing you or there was embarrassment. Oh no, a new pat, a new passion. You're, you're, you might be embarrassed. You might be hesitant. You might be bashful. You might be shy. There's heartbreak here in terms of career. It's like you put yourself out there and feel like nobody reached back in terms of career. 17, 17. So this is a continued pattern, right? No matter what part of your life this is in, whether it's romance or friendship or what, this is your career. This is like you feel like your career-wise, you've been putting yourself out there and you haven't been getting shit back. You've been really disappointed with the fact that almost to the point of being embarrassed, right? Really disappointed with what's been coming back. Guess what? Your dreams and wishes are about to come true. Either you're the star, they're the star, a star is about to notice you. Somebody is really about to burst through and notice you and lift you up. You want to know why? Stars get noticed by other stars. So there was definitely stagnation. And there was a time of just like absolute heartbreak. But Estrella is there. The star card is there. And that means something about to pop off. Let's get into love i want to know money too but love let's get into love tell us about love for cancers things have been stuck there's been a hold up or maybe you've been feeling stagnated or stuck or something's been feeling stuck but also this is the cocoon which tells me that something's also been brewing Ooh, the king of wands you want somebody bad you are attracted to somebody this is passion. This is big dick energy. So it's kind of like, um, it's very virile. It's very sexual. Maybe you have, you, it's like you haven't been getting the nookie that you wanted to get. Or um, um, there has been like, a, you haven't been feeling as enticed as you once did. What is here? You ready for the change? 1919 is there. More divine counterparts. Cancerians, that chapter in your life is over. Get ready for the next one. I want more too. Let's go to money. Let's see where we're hanging out with money. Money, 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 money. Can't buy love. <clears throat> Knave of chalices, so something starting, or you know what you want, but you don't have the money to get it. 
Um, it's not that you don't have money, but you don't have enough money. Ace of Swords is here. Some sort of clarity or triumph. And this is the second time we've gotten the Ace of Swords in this reading. So that's what's coming through for your money. It's like all of a sudden, in terms of finances, there's a break for you. What kind of break? Okay. This is the perfect time to go to the extended. What kind of break in your finances? What kind of new chapter for your love life? And what kind of dreams come true is coming for your career? I hope you'll join with me for the extended. That link is below. I love you guys. And thank you for watching this video. I will see you soon.